The F-16V, or Viper, is the latest variant of F-16 Fighting Falcon. The cutting-edge upgrades integrate advanced capabilities to better incorporate with fifth-generation fighters like F-22 Raptor or F-35. On the other hand, the Rafale is a French twin-engine Canard Delta Wing multi-role fighter aircraft. Both fighter jets are considered top-of-the-line aircraft equipped with exceptional radars, queuing systems, engines, technology, and latest weaponry. Let's compare these exceptional war machines and try to determine which aircraft is better, the United States F-16 Viper or French Rafale. But first, our sponsor, Conflict of Nations, which goes right along with this video's topic. It's a free online PvP strategy game. Choose a real country to lead in a modern global warfare and fight up to 128 players in real time for weeks to complete. Build your army with modern aircraft, tanks, and nuclear submarines you can take over the entire world with your strategy alliances with other players. I like the way this game hones your strategy building and diplomatic skills to forge alliances with millions of players in real time. You can play with a single account on both PC and mobile, a game of Conflict of Nations for first-time viewers. Click the link in the description to get 13,000 gold and one month of premium subscription for free. The offer is only valid for 30 days. The details will be shared at the end of the video. Number 1. Over the years, the F-16's equipment and armament have been updated to counter the emerging threats. The latest variant, commonly known as F-16 Viper, was introduced in 2015. As of today, around 4,600 F-16s have been built so far. Operated by a crew of one, the F-16 can take off with maximum weight of 48,000 pounds. The fighter jet is powered by a single engine producing 29,000 pounds of thrust. This engine can push the aircraft to a top speed of Mach 2. With ferry range of 2,620 miles, the aircraft can conduct combat operations within the radius of 340 miles. With climb rate of 820 feet per second, the F-16 can reach a maximum altitude of 50,000 feet. The fighter jet comes with nine hardpoints in addition to 20 millimeter rotary cannon. On contrary, Rafale was first rolled out in 2001. Around 201 Rafales have been built so far. Operated by a crew of one, the aircraft can take off with a maximum weight of 54,000 pounds. The aircraft is powered by a pair of turbofan engines, generating 34,000 pounds of thrust combined. With the help of these engines, the aircraft can travel with a top speed of Mach 1.8, with three drop tanks, the Rafale can stretch its ferry range up to 2,300 miles and can combat within the radius of 1,150 miles. With a climb rate of 1,000 feet per second, the Rafale can reach a service ceiling of 52,000 feet. The fighter jet is outfitted with 14 hardpoints in addition to an auto cannon. Number 2. F-16 was intentionally designed to be aerodynamically unstable. However, it was compensated by its digital flight control system. This means that the pilot's controls are interpreted through flight computers. Through a side stick controller, the pilot sends electrical signals while powerful onboard computers constantly adjust the pilot's errors for high maneuverability in combat. The fighter jet has 1.11 thrust to weight ratio and its airframe can sustain 9 Gs. Similarly, the Rafale can also pull 9G maneuvers with a high angle of attack. With a delta wing and close coupled delta canards, the aircraft can outmaneuver its opponent with ease. These canards are significantly helpful for a higher lift for shorter takeoffs and dogfight. The Rafale has 1.13 thrust to weight ratio and can perform excellent maneuverability after a post stall. Number 3. The latest variant of F-16 is equipped with APG-83 radar. This radar can search continuously and track up to 20 targets. The radar can detect enemy fighter jets with RCS of 11 square feet beyond 85 miles. The Viper is outfitted with a faster computer, helmet-mounted queuing system, and high-speed data bus. The aircraft is also equipped with Link-16 Theater data link and identification friend or foe. The automatic ground collision avoidance system has become standard with the Viper configuration. With the new radar, avionics, secure data link, and electronic warfare systems, the Viper has reached operation levels of a fifth-generation aircraft. 
On the other hand, the Rafale is equipped with Thales RBE-2 AA Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar. The radar can detect a 30-square-foot aircraft from 90 miles. The radar can track up to 40 targets and engage up to 8 aircraft simultaneously. The radar projects real-time 3D maps for terrain following in high-resolution ground maps for navigation and targeting. For the air supremacy role, the aircraft is equipped with several passive sensor systems. The front sector electro-optical system is completely integrated within the aircraft and can operate both in visible and infrared wavelengths. This sensor enables the deployment of infrared missiles beyond visual range distances. Number 4. The F-16 has nine hardpoints and can be armed with a wide range of air-to-air -air missiles, including AIM-9 Sidewinder, Magic-2, AIM-7, Skyflash, and AIM-120. The high off-bore sight infrared air-to-air -air missiles such as AIM-9X, Python-4, AIM-132, and Iris-T can be fitted. The aircraft also supports integration of anti-ship and air-to-ground tactical missiles. The fighter jet can be armed with Paveway laser-guided bombs, GBU-15, and wind-corrected munitions dispenser weapons. The aircraft is armed with 20mm rotary cannon with 511 rounds. On the other hand, the Rafale can carry weapon payloads of more than 9.5 tons on its 14 hardpoints. The range of weapons includes air-to-air, air-to-ground, air-to-sea, guided, and unguided bombs. For a strategic mission, the jet can deliver Storm Shadow Standoff nuclear missile. The aircraft can also carry Meteor Beyond Visual Range air-to-air -air missiles. The jet can fire precision bombs guided by both GPS and inertial navigation. The aircraft has a twin gun pod and 30mm cannon capable of firing 2,500 rounds a minute. The F-16 Viper is a faster aircraft, though. Rafale has slightly higher service ceiling and has better thrust-to-weight ratio. In terms of horizontal maneuverability, Rafale has the better instantaneous turn rates, allowing it to reverse its turns more quickly. Both aircraft are equipped with state-of-the-art electronic warfare suites with cutting-edge technology, decoys, and jammers. The Rafale can carry payload of 20,900 pounds, as compared with the Viper's 17,000 pounds. Both jets are capable of carrying tactical nuclear warheads as well. The Rafale has almost twice the combat radius, while the Viper has slightly better ferry range. The Rafale gets the edge in the role of close air support, as its close-coupled canard design makes it a better flyer in low and slow regime. However, F-16 has a much better selection of low collateral damage weapons. In BVR engagements, both aircraft are capable war machines as these aircraft are outfitted with the latest active electronically scanned array radars. However, Rafale has a better chance to detect the Viper due to its lower RCS. In terms of weaponry, the Viper relies on AIM-120D while the Rafale is armed with Meteor missile with longer range. Though AIM-120 is considered more reliable due to its better combat exposure. At higher altitudes, the Rafale can perform better maneuvers, while the Viper can still outperform the Rafale at lower altitudes. In order to gain the energy advantage in a dogfight, one must climb as high and as fast as possible. The better climb rate and a 30mm gun make Rafale a better dogfighter. So what do you think? Which fighter jet is better? United States F-16 Viper or French Rafale? Let us know in the comments section. Conflict of Nations is a free online PvP strategy game. Go to the website or app, type in GRID88 for both game ID and password to avail 13,000 gold and one month of premium subscription offer for free. Don't waste time as this offer is only valid for 30 days. Click the link below, choose your country, and fight your way to victory.